Hello everybody and welcome to Boss Pixels review this time, not an XB PS PC gamer since we changed the channel name. Now because of our caring and very supportive boss Brendan <laughs> We decided to change our channel name, so, as of now, it'll be called Lost- Dear Will, you were knocked unconscious by a brick that I threw. I didn't mean to knock you unconscious, I was trying to hit a bug in your face. Gee, thanks a lot. Anyways, I decided to drag your unconscious body to Savannah since I figured you wouldn't be disturbed for a while. Though you wouldn't wake up in the air I was watching you, so I got bored and left you. A whole year?! What?! I... So, this is your new home, and have fun! Also, since you're late on your next review, I devised a new game for you to review. It should be running on the TV. back from that year-long coma that I've been stuck in, but I'm ready to do some more reviewing. At least until the next coma hits me. But apparently as punishment for being a year late on my next review, I have to review Superman 64. Help me. Well, anyways, but I've never been a big fan of Superman in the first place, so... But I mean, hey, a game about him? How could they screw that up? I mean, especially on a new 3D console that had the same games as Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time. Oh, but they did, and they screwed it up badly. I've been to the depths of hell and back, and you have no idea what I've been through. And you want to see what this game is? Then I dare you to keep watching. First off, just listen to that music. Doesn't that music just scream action adventure from Superman? I mean, screw the John Williams theme song, this is where it's at. So, from what I can gather from this incredible story explanation, Lex Luthor has trapped Superman's friends into a virtual world and he has to go in and save them. Well, at least they get right into the action. And here it is, no Superman 64 and all of its... Whoa, wait, the hell? Will you slow down? What's with the rings? Am I stuck? What is going on? Okay, calm down. So apparently, if you want to get to your friends in this virtual world, Lex Luthor wants you to go through all of these rings. It sounds simple, but it's much more difficult than it needs to be. First off, you fly at a ridiculous high speeds you need to be very precise on where you want to go, or else you go flying off in another direction. I could forgive these controls if these rings weren't so close together. And some of these rings are just hiding around a corner, making it even more difficult to get to it, wasting even more time. Even trying to cut to the corner will just get you stuck, despite you having so much more room. And you don't have much time to screw around. You're on a time limit during the entire time. Now, I'm just gonna ask this like everyone else, but what the hell does flying through rings have anything to do with Superman? The Man of Steel, hero of the people, flight simulator. What programmer thought this would be a good idea? I get that they're supposed to guide you to the next objective, but it would have been better had they allowed you to fly around and explore this vast, barren, empty of a world. No and this wait. may seem minor, but what is the point of that compass? I can see where the next ring is. 
What, am I just gonna go through a ring then suddenly lose all my sense of direction? These parts are a lot more difficult than it needs to be. You can only miss three rings or else you're doing the entire thing all over again. And with the way the turning is and the time limit, I'm rushing through all these rings and eventually I'll screw up and have to do it all over again. If you manage to get through these rings, then you find your next objective, which flashes on the screen for a brief second that goes away. If you can read fast enough, you have to pick up these cars and throw them. Too bad I don't know how to pick up cars that someone got run over. So as a punishment, I have to do the rings all over again. God damn it! Okay. So I go through all of these damn rings again, and this time, I managed to pick up the cars and throw them, saving the two people. So time for my next objective, going through more rings. Okay, not much different here. I get through them, and now I have to pick up this police car and take it to the police department. By the way, best police department ever. Wonderful. 10 out of 10. IGN. So after doing that, then going through more rings, I beat some bad guys, Go through more rings. Now I have to use my bread to take down these tornadoes. So I defeat the evil tornadoes through riveting action. And I had to go through, oh come on! More goddamn rings. So I fly my happy ass through these rings and it leads me to a wall. Great. And well, wait, is it over? Is it finally over? <laughs> I've done it! I've gone through Superman 64! I'm finally done! Mother f Of course, it would be too good to be true. There's still more of this game. So before the next mission starts, you're treated to a cutscene. Which all it is is just a camera zooming out, then repeats. Well, what was the point? Then you're thrown into the level. Here's where a lot more of the action is like being taken place. Sure. Well, it can't be that bad. I mean, everyone complains about the rings. This could be fun. Nope, never mind. It's bad. Punching is so awkward with the camera right behind me in such closed space, it's hard to tell if the punch is even gonna land. Not only that, but these things explode once you do enough damage, causing damage to you. Well, what am I supposed to do then? Plus, apparently these robots' bullets can interrupt Superman's attack. Yep, the man in steel in this game is weak to bullets. Unless they're kryptonite bullets. These things are such a problem, I take a good bit of damage and I can't avoid it. You can pick them up? Of course, how obvious. Oh god, these frame rates. There's only three things on the screen and barely any textures on the screen. Why is it playing at four frames per second? What? The box just exploded. What's in those things anyways? Oh, that makes sense. Well, I pick up a key card and I need to go to the computer to open up a door. Okay, two things. One, what computer? All of these computers look the same. I've been running around like an idiot trying to figure out where to use this thing. In the next room, there's these doors that have these keyholes on the side. Maybe I use them there. Nope. Nothing. Why had those there? Are they just a red herring? Oh, of course. Use it on a computer in the very beginning. How obvious. Two. This is Superman! Can I just punch through these doors? He's capable of doing that, right? So why need a key card? Do they not want you to have fun? So I get to the door and some lady tells me she has placed some bombs in the sewer, so that means I have to deactivate them. Fine. <laughs> I'm done! Can't do this! This looks like a job. Not having this! What happened to this game? I mean, it feels unpolished, unfinished, like there's no love to it. As if the developers just said, F it, we don't care, here you go. If you were one of the poor, unfortunate souls that happened to get this game on Christmas or your birthday or guy just because of Superman, then I am so sorry that you wasted your time and money on such a disastrous, 
boring, tedious game. And you know what? Why did I even talk about this? I mean, seriously, I made you guys wait an entire year for a game that almost every single person even knows about. Like, well, what was the point? I mean, am I, am I just gonna have you guys wait an entire year again just to talk about another game that people have already said, reviewed, and I'm just gonna point out the exact same flaws it has as well? I, I, maybe I should just end it here then. <laughs> maybe I should just stop making videos. I mean, I only have, what, six videos out right now? I'm not gonna miss that much. Or maybe I should just keep making videos and hopefully give you guys more content because you deserve better. I don't know. Well, maybe and hopefully I will see you all in the next video.